Seems like Amber Heard and her team continue to dig their own grave as the Aquaman star has continued to blurt lies one after the other which may cost her $50 million. And yes, this is way more lethal than the makeup palette fiasco her lawyer created before the trial went on break last week. And fans who were tuning in worldwide continue to side with Johnny Depp. And with every mistake weighing them down, her lawyer needs to salvage the situation as soon as possible before everything goes downhill with no chance of recovery whatsoever. So, how bad did Amber Heard mess up this time around and how will her testimony affect the outcome of this very controversial defamation case? Let's find out. Amber Heard may just have cut her chances of winning as she continues to make arguable mistakes one after the other and her fans are scratching their heads wondering what's wrong with her and her team of lawyers who, by the way, should really rethink their strategy. Speaking more about her mismatched testimonies, Amber started her cross-examination with three back-to-back -back objections from Depp's team as she adjusted her prior statements and corrected herself by saying that the abuse she mentioned during the previous trial actually started earlier. Specifically, Depp allegedly became abusive in 2012 and not in 2013. Ironically, Amber followed up her statement saying how she can never forget the very first time Depp raised his hands on her but somehow, when did you earlier believe the first act of physical violence occurred? Well, I had always believed um, up until recently that it was, it had started later, um, that the violence started around early 2013, not early 2012. Now, you testified earlier that the first act of physical violence by Mr. Depp related to the Winona Wino tattoo. Do you recall that testimony? I do. Okay. It Got the dates wrong. Of course, it left everyone confused. When asked by her lawyer as to why she wasn't able to recall it correctly, the Aquaman star answered meekly saying, that's not how my memory works. Adding more details to her statement, Amber continues with, it was very chaotic times of very loving, emotional relationship. So anyone could imagine, there was a lot going on and unfortunately, the violence became normal. With this, saying that Amber started the trial on a wrong foot is an understatement. And while recounting her statements is already very painful to her lawyer's ears, she continues to throw blows at her own credibility by saying statements without giving any proof to support it. For example, during the course of her cross-examination, Heard started narrating about a particular folder Depp kept on his computer which, based from Amber's statements, shows Depp being very angry about the way she dresses. However, these were made without any evidence whatsoever and this was not the last time Heard made such dubious accusations. She also gave a very detailed storytelling about how her ex-husband molested her, assaulted her and forced her for three long days and when asked for anything that can support these very serious accusations, she and her team presented tabloid photos where her arm and three tiny scratches can be seen. When asked to describe the photo, Amber said how it was harder to cover the three tiny scars with makeup mainly because it's fresh. Interesting, right? And before you say something, let me tell you how she was walking on high heels for the Magic Mike premiere just a weeks after she said she was subjected to abuse which caused her glass scars on her feet. And do I even have to mention how her didn't think it was necessary to see a doctor after Johnny Depp allegedly punched her in the face, throw furniture at her and had a concussion. And while making fun of a person's injury is a big no-no, fans deemed it necessary to comment about Amber's statement and how they don't fit like a puzzle, saying more about how absurd her story was. This fan said she would have a broken face with all those rings he wears. Ugh, she's such a liar. And just like that, Viewers worldwide are expressing their discomfort about Heard and how she is just making a whole new story to counter the slip she made during the previous trials. Reacting to the tabloid photos presented, one fan commented, I've had worse scratches from my cats. I don't see a scratch. Another fan joked saying, Amber Heard says this is a bruised temple. It's like where's Waldo of injuries. As the court continues to try the case, the court of social media is in an uproar. For now, the trail continues to heat up and everyone's watching to see how things turn out. How about you? What do you think about Amber Heard's statements and do you think there's still a chance for Heard and her team to make a comeback? Let us know in the comments below.